Welcome to the F5 Tiger 2, the plane I have been most excited to share my newest version of. And it's because I realized that my previous F5 Tiger 2 was just way too small. It wasn't long enough, the proportions weren't right. It was just not a good replica because it was it was too small. And uh, well, as you can see here, my previous replica was too small and not accurate enough, so here we go again. And this time, I think I really nailed it. Now, of course, as this is using Juno engines, it is not the fastest. And this being an F5 replica, I figure the performance should be good, but not the best. And we did have to use four Juno engines in order to get the appropriate thrust to weight ratio, because else, well, it still flies well, but not like a fighter. It flies more like a private aircraft. Whereas you can see with the four Junos, we have decent thrust to weight ratio. We can keep accelerating almost during a full turn. Not quite, but you can see that uh, we have decent performance and we can do a barrel roll quite easily. Which honestly was one of the uh, big indicators for me to figure out exactly where I was okay with leaving this design because I wanted to be able to have this perform exactly as it does right now. I had to figure out exactly what angle to allow, what authority limiter to set on the pitch. I did have it set to 12 for a bit so that you didn't lose as much speed in a turn. Then I realized it just wasn't maneuverable enough for me. And I set it to 16 and that was better, but then it lost speed too much and I felt like it wasn't as enjoyable to fly in repeated maneuvers because you really got to have good energy management, especially when you have a lower thrust to weight ratio like this does. So 14 turned out to be the best number for that. And it's just a joy to fly. It also has a uh, pitch trim, like all of my aircraft do at this point. And so you can fly it without SAS and do some interesting maneuverability things like this. Oh yes, and of course because I can't limit the deploy angle, because I'm just modifying the deploy angle with pitch trim, you can pitch trim to have it pitch harder than it can on its own, which is obviously not good for survivability. Mm, come on, come on, come on, come on! Okay, we got 600 meters, we're fine, although it did screw up the camera angle unfortunately. Alright, what's our... oh, our pitch trim's way too low. Our pitch trim was negative there for quite a bit because I was trying to pull out of that inverted dive. And so yeah, uh, obviously it can be quite a bit more dangerous to fly using the trim like this because you can't respond to things as quickly. Although you can of course still use the regular controls while adjusting pitch trim, allowing you to do things like this. And also you can see there that uh, we were getting up to 200 meters per second because we were going in a straight line for a while. So this does have good straight line speed, if that is what you desire. And because I need to know, pulling up as hard as I can from 300, although I rolled more than I meant to, you can see it performs quite well. Doesn't knock out the Kerbal either, which I consider a bonus. In any case, let's take her down for a landing right about here. Right about wherever this is. I haven't made it yet, but the next thing for me to do is create a replica of the F-20. I forget if I've ever made a replica of the F-20 before, but since my F-5 was not a very good base before, it doesn't really matter to me whether I made one or not. It definitely wasn't good if I did, but there will be a good one based on this. Thanks for watching. Boy boy.